Strayers. Aloha, boys. Welcome to another video. Today, this is a bit different to what we usually do today. It's a bit of an update video. I've got a few things I want to talk about. Neef Speed, E3, the crew, and also my Twitch channel, and a few of the little things here and there. I just wanted to make a big rant. A, a, I just wanted to make a bit of a ramble vlog because I haven't done one of these in absolutely ages. It feels like it's been a long time where I've just sat down and just talked just to a camera, talking about the channel, how things are going, where I want to go in the future, and ask for feedback because obviously feedback is very important for where my channel is going to go. And because I upload every day, you know, even more important. All you fucking birds making noise in the background. Right, so first things first, want to talk about my Twitch channel because I feel like that's kind of the most important thing out of all of this. I've been going hard with it recently. Like, like really, really hard. Yeah, I've been going hard with it. I've been streaming a few times a week. I've got a lot of spare time recently. So, you know, after I make my video for the day, I usually get onto Twitch and I just stream literally anything. The other day, we were streaming a bit of Rainbow Six Siege. It's um, a tactical shooter, really, really fun shooter. Would recommend if you are into your FPSs. And then we streamed a bit of Horizon a bit later. My Twitch channel is one of those places where I literally will do anything. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. Well, like in terms of games, obviously um i will go from from kingdom hearts over to rainbow six over to halo over to forza like it's one of those things it's not really just racing games over there i do pretty much anything and it's something i've been pushing quite hard recently so if you do enjoy live streams and you do enjoy twitch make sure to go over there um, i've got loads of streams already up on there so previous streams which you can watch so if you are interested and that you know tickles your fancy because i know a lot of you guys do enjoy streaming and streamers and that kind of thing I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description. As I always do to all my other social medias as well. My Snapchat's down there. My Instagram's down there. My Twitter's down there. Usually when I do stream, I announce it on Twitter. So if you don't already follow me on Twitter, I don't know what you're doing, to be honest. Get Twitter, basically. That's, that's what I'm saying. If you don't have Twitter already, get it because you're missing out on a lot. There's not really a set schedule with my streams. I kind of just do it when I feel like it. So like I said, just keep your eyes on my Twitter and I'll tweet out when I do it. And it will literally just be... I am streaming in five minutes, be there or be square. Anyway, the second thing I want to talk about is E3 and then everything under E3, which is like Need for Speed, the crew and everything else. It's become a little kind of annual tradition that I stream E3 through my Twitch channel. I've had this thing where I've just kind of just restreamed it and I gave my opinions and gave my initial reactions on the flight live as it's happening. I do want to say that's probably not going to happen with the EA stream and the Ubisoft stream because I want to make the crew and Need for Speed videos as soon as possible. However, for the you know Microsoft stream, for the Sony stream and for everything else, I'm probably going to stream that on Twitch. Now, I don't know how I'm doing it yet. I think I might be doing it with the Drivecast lot. So, you know, that's Jay, CJ, Niner, etc. And a few of the friends we have. Um, so, if you are interested in that kind of thing and you've come to previous streams where we streamed, you know, E3 Live, um, you can go ahead, again, Twitch down in the description. That's where we're going to do that. And, you know, E3 as a whole is going to be a hectic time on the channel. You know, with Need for Speed and The Crew and all those other games, Gran Turismo coming out, I'm really, really looking excited to it, and I know for sure there's going to be a lot of games which I want to cover on the channel. So just keep your eye on the channel. Upload times may vary. I kind of, I'm probably going to do it as soon as news is available. Then I'll upload it instead of waiting till nine o'clock like I usually do. I usually wait till nine o'clock my time. I think because obviously E3 and news is so important around this time, I'm probably just going to upload it as soon as I have the information. So especially with Need for Speed coming up soon, June the second, we're going to get some type of teaser, and I reckon they're going to give us something as well you know at some point during the next week um yeah just keep your eyes on the channel keep your eyes peeled because if near speed news comes out early then obviously i want to be there first and that'll, that'll mean uploading it before nine o'clock i do think we're gonna get more than just a teaser this week obviously ea play is the week after i feel like they're gonna give us just a bit more than whatever they've got planned on June the 2nd. That's just my two cents. And then we've got the crew. And the crew, the crew's on a different level because I can almost guarantee that's probably going to get a beta at some point. So I'm, are we, are we going to expect, you know, some type of like beta announcement at E3? Probably not. But I think we're going to get something just as big. You know, a gameplay trailer in itself would be huge. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. E3 is going to be a hectic time. One of my favourite times of the year. Luckily now, because I'm just off, I'm on holiday now, I don't have to worry about school and stuff. I remember back, like, a few years ago, I'd come home from school and I'd, I'd have exams, like, the next week, but E3 just took over my life. It really, really did. It was really bad. Don't do that. 
kids. Now also, that's not the only thread I want to talk about. It's been a while since I've just kind of just went, been on the camera and just talked about the channel and how things are going. I want to ask you guys a few questions and I want, would like serious answers in the comments um, about what you think the channel's like at the moment. What's your favourite series? What's your least favourite series? Um, you know, just what's your favourite and least favourite things about the channel and what would you like to see change? Um, and feedback is very important to me, always has been. Um, so if you do have any, you know, problems with the channel, or like, not problems, but anything you would like to see change, or anything you would like to see improved, please let me know in the comment section down below. This is the best time for, you know, for me to be get, for me to improve my content, and the only way I can really do that is through you guys and knowing what I want to do. I'm thinking about dropping the initial D Let's Play because it doesn't seem to be doing that strong in comparison to something else I could be doing. So depending on how that does in the next few episodes, I possibly could drop it. Again, just let me know what you think in the comment section down below not just with that series but the channel is a whole stick and twist you know all the little gameplay old retro gameplay things i've been doing recently everything as a whole let me know what you think um anything you'd like to see change added exactly etc etc and i'll get around to it my channel is always constantly changing you know i'm a gamer and i'm a car guy and those are the two things i want the channel to revolve around anytime there's a game that comes out i want to play it on the channel and obviously it will have a racing related focus but i do feel like there's a place for other games on the channel like i did Watch Dogs when that came out you know it all depends on timing I guess but you know if there's anything you want to see let me know I'll do it I feel like my twitch is probably the better place for other games um, but again like I said I this channel is open for anything I'm open for experimentation I think that's the only way you can really improve um, but yeah, just let me know what you think. I definitely want to get into in real life car stuff more. I definitely want to get into a bit more vloggy stuff more. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to stay gaming. Because gaming is kind of what this channel, what my whole YouTube career or like my journey started off on. That was gaming. So that's not going anywhere. Don't think I'm, you know, pulling a 180 and moving away from gaming. Because I'm definitely not. That's not changing. The gaming videos are here to stay. Especially racing stuff. And that's it really. Um, just talk about E3, talk about my Twitch channel, and just talk about games, basically. That's all I really wanted to do, really. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done here. Chocolate! Yeah, like I said, let me know in the comment section what you think about life and channel and stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe, and peace.